how uh, do you see the interests of hospice and physician assisted dying as being congruent? I do. Uh, again, we have physician assisted dying in Washington and Oregon and in Vermont and Montana and uh, maybe soon in, uh, in uh, California. And actually, I wanted to mention that uh, the Supreme Court of Canada decided that everyone in Canada will have this option uh, very shortly. Uh, they're going to take about a year, maybe a little over a year to implement it, but uh, everyone in Canada will have the option that we have in Washington State to get lethal prescriptions uh, when people are, are dying. Uh, we try to get everybody into hospice because we don't think people should make this decision uh, to take lethal medicines very lightly. Uh, they ought to be getting the best possible palliative care uh, before they uh, decide that they really want to take uh, lethal prescriptions because maybe they could have another week or another month or another three or four months of wonderful time with their kids or their grandkids or uh, finishing a book that they really wanted to finish or some project that they really wanted to. So, in fact, in Washington State, we have a much higher percentage, I think 90% of our clients who are seeking the option of death with dignity the lethal prescription option, uh, get into hospice because we really push people into hospice and we don't want them to consider this option unless they are getting good palliative care. Uh, there are some people that are just refusers. They don't like hospice. They don't like the idea of hospice. But that's an image that I think we've got to deal with around hospice because people, I think, really misunderstand it and don't see it uh, for the palliation that it is. Uh, but it is definitely congruent with what we do, and, uh, and we want everybody to be in hospice. And in Washington State, uh, you'd be surprised perhaps that there are a number of hospices that will actually uh, play the role of prescribing the physician. Uh, the hospice doc will end up writing the prescription for the patient uh, to leave early. There are some hospices that are still struggling with this because uh, they're really wanting to keep people alive as long as they possibly can. But uh, when patients uh, uh, really put the pressure on some of the hospices, they say, yeah, I understand you are tired and you want to go, and it, it makes sense. So they're congruent as far as I'm concerned.